to another episode of Mega Act here in the workshop of Willow Toys. Joe um, has a toy business. Well, we all have a toy business, and he makes wooden toys for a living. It's what we've done for 10 years. And he makes wooden kitchens and dollhouses, and here is his shop. Our kids are really, really lucky to have access. Whoa. Our wow. kids are so lucky to have access to tons of tools and wood and everything they need to basically create anything made out of wood. So one of the most requested people on our Make It episodes are Devin. Devin, my son, is 15 years old. He's a craftsman. He does a lot with his hands. He makes cool dwellings and survival shelters out in the woods. He's just an amazing, amazingly creative person. And so I love when he does the Make It episodes. Today, what are you going to make for us, Devin? A sword. A sword. Cool, you made an arrow a couple episodes ago. And so Devin's making something um, kind of simple because he wants the kids that watch our show to be able to make it themselves with the assistance of their parents. So he's going to make a cool wooden sword. That way you guys can uh, learn how to do these types of things. All right, so <clears throat> first thing you need is a piece of wood to start out with. I'm not sure. I think this is pine. Yep, it's pine. Well, it's. I don't know if this is what the dad got. This doesn't look to me like it's the wood that he ordered, so it might... It's I, definitely I think, pine because it's it light. Well, yeah. Pine's the easiest wood to work with, and it's usually the most affordable, but it's also the most uh, breakable, I guess. Yeah, it's not strong. So if you're going to have sword fights, you might want to uh, get a little bit of a harder wood, like an oak or a maple. That would be heavier, though. It would be heavier, true. Okay, so the first material that you need is wood. And right now I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna draw out the sword first. I usually just do it freehand. So you uh, obviously use a pencil and you just draw it on freehand? Okay. Yeah. You can have your parents help you guys with this part if you need a little assistance. I mean, you could make a stencil or print out something. Okay. But I just like to freehand it. Yeah. Needs a little... You've made so many of these for Orion. Oh I've my made gosh, probably yeah. like a hundred of these. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> yeah. When uh, we have uh, little kids come over and visit just to hang out, Devin makes swords with them sometimes. They love it. They all look up to Devin so much. It's cute. That's all right. Okay, so how long do I have to be? I don't know. There. Why Let's not? do like an average size. Yeah. So. Ah. Now, you don't have to get this fancy with it, but this is gonna be my personal sword that I used to fight Orion with, so I want it to be kind of nice. <laughs> uh, that's... What are you measuring off now? I don't even know. I'm just like... Just the handle, maybe? Yeah, I mean, okay. that's... A, yeah. Uh, did this a little bit wrong. Oops. Uh-oh. Owie. <laughs> the workshop looks like a tornado hit it. It was a really busy Christmas season for Joe. He basically just finished the busiest time of the year. He has a lot more to make before our trip to Disney in a couple days. But then I need to come through and help by cleaning up a little bit around here. I've been making these swords for a, you know, a, a while. It was like the first things I actually really made out of wood, I think. And um, they're really nice except usually when you have like a plastic sword or something, it doesn't hurt. But if you get hit with one of these like in your hand, it freaking hurts. Like, <laughs> oh my god. It does hurt. It's real bad. You and Orion have both been accidentally hit. Many, many, many times. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing what you're doing. You're, you're, you're basically drawing out a sword on here. You're doing a really basic design. And you've moved on to, over the years, on to making real knives. Yeah, not swords yet, but... Someday. Yeah, hopefully. 
bladesmithing and swordsmithing looks really cool. It would be awesome to have a job with like a production company making the costuming and the swords for movies. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to work on the grip a little bit more and then we'll be done on this one. Yeah. What kind of tools do you need for this project? Well, you need... The, ah, okay, you need a pencil. Uh, wood. Wood. That's not really a tool. but Where um, would somebody get the wood? At Home Depot or somewhere yeah, like that? I mean, people usually have a piece of wood, I think, about this big, usually. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, home deep anywhere that has wood. Okay. <laughs> and then it, the type of wood really doesn't matter. But if it's hard wood, it's gonna last longer. But it's gonna hurt more if you get hit by it. Right. It's a little harder to cut into also. Yeah. So a good practice sword would be pine. If you wanted to practice making swords, start with pine. It's super cheap too. It's inexpensive. It's easy to cut through. And there's several different. Um, like saws or tools that you could use to cut one of these out, but ideally what's the best kind of saw? A jigsaw or a band saw. Okay. But a band saw is like a huge machine, which you probably don't have. Do we have one? Yeah, that yellow. All right, well, let's just show everybody what these are. Okay. So you guys know. See, I don't have a clue really what everything is. This doesn't look like it's been in use much. What I is actually, this? What? I actually do use it quite often, but do Dad you? always puts stuff on it. What the heck this, is this? This is my torture device. <laughs> Oh, I made a pair. Of, actually, these are really good nails. He's joking. It's not really a torture no, device. Uh, it's, uh, this was a loom for making a pair of sandals. Oh, yeah. Devin made his own shoes. He made his own sandals. So this is a loom. I gotta get these into really good nails. I gotta get these back out of here. That's a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Honey, can we stop this part? Right. Okay, so this is called a band saw. Yeah, and the this blade. Is... The reason it's called that is that the blade... The reason it's called the bandsaw is because the blade, this is the blade, and I think that there's a blade for it right here somewhere. I think this is a bandsaw blade. Oh my gosh, it's huge. And the, the teeth are on this side, so basically it's in the machine like this, and it spins around. So, like, a lot of, you know, saws go back and forth usually, but this one's always continuous, so it's really quick. Okay, cool. So what's the other type of saw you could use? Yeah. A jigsaw, this. a jigsaw, which is a lot more, uh, a lot more affordable than okay. these ones. So one of them you kind of feed the wood through, but this one you actually yeah. have to cut it out. So they're very different I prefer usages. this one. I don't like the bandsaw that much. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Picking up a jigsaw is like a really cool investment for your kids because they can use it as a tool for a lot more than just making swords. Oh yeah, I've made shields and I, I mean pretty much everything I make out of wood I use this. A jigsaw. So for a small investment. And my whole life this has been the one that we've had and it still works fine. Oh, it's a Makita. It's a good brand, I hear. Yeah, this is probably like a hundred dollar one. Okay. Okay, so, um, here we go. Okay, so once you trace out, I just want to go over what we've done so far. Devin has traced out free-handed this sword that he's drawn on this piece of wood. You can use a stencil. You can ask somebody for help with this. Um, and then you use the jigsaw to cut it out. So, Devin, show us. Okay. Done. It's kind of loud. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Can you like somehow secure it into something easier? I mean, well, like... that usually doesn't happen. I'm just trying to get this bend, but it's not working. No, no. I mean, could somebody? Is this the ideal way just to hold on yeah, to it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could clamp it down, but you'd have to turn. I mean, I've already moved it ten right. times. It would take way longer. Oh, okay. I understand. The reason it vibrated like that is because I was trying to bend it when it didn't want to. It usually doesn't happen. <laughs>
And remember, kids, safety first. <laughs> Devin is trying to point out the fact that you probably should wear some safety gear anytime you're working with power tools. What he usually wears are... Goggles. Safety goggles. A shirt. <laughs> pants. Underwear. So that's standard. A belt sometimes, if the pants are too big. Shoes and socks, usually. If there aren't socks, my feet get sweaty, so that's why the socks are there. <laughs> All right, Devin, thank you for pointing out that important safety tip. And this is not something you're going to want to do in your room because, I mean, okay. Right. That's a, a wooden wonderland out here. Exactly. Not... If you notice, there was like tons of sawdust here in the shop. It's pretty amazing what a mess this makes. So if you don't have a shop or garage to do it in, do it outside. Do it outside, yeah. Okay, and if you live in an apartment, don't get a wooden sword, because honestly, it's not going to happen. Right. Anyways. Well, or if, you're, if you do live in an apartment, make sure you do this <laughs> yeah. in the middle of the day. You don't want to do it at 10 or 11 at night. Your neighbors will hate you. Unless they already do. Yeah, and if they, hey, if they already do, then you can do it just to annoy if them. If you hate them, yeah, I mean, do it. Annoy, annoy do people's fun. Do it at like 3 fun. in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways. Anywho. Usually I can do this faster, but this blade's really dull, so it's going a little slower than usual. Okay, well, it looks cool already. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now, now this is definitely not necessary, but because I have this, I'm going to use it. I have this long straight line I have to cut out, which you could totally do on this. But because I can, I'm going to use this table saw over here. It's just going to be a lot quicker and easier for me. Now these are hardcore tools that require a lot of like uh, Do experience. Do not use this unless you have a parent or you're very experienced with it. And another tip for using these is you want to keep the blade just to the top of the wood so that if you hit yourself, it only cuts you a little bit. <laughs> but I'm not. I mean, I know a guy who had his thumb almost cut off. This. Yeah, these with are this one, this table saw that's right here. Wow, and so Devin has over 10 years of experience working with these kind of tools, so he makes it look easy, but it does take a lot of practice. I don't think I could use this. Honestly, it's terrifying. Yeah. I mean, and, you're, and you have to go right over it. It's like your fingers are... I mean, if I did this, it would be gone in two seconds. Right, it's, it's pretty hardcore. So now that we've scared you sufficiently... I, just, I mean, honestly, just use the jigsaw. <laughs> right. Because it's going to be loud. Wow. Here we go. Now we just gotta do the point and then we'll be done. For All right, so this is the sword roughed out now. Roughed out, that means before it's sanded. Yeah. I know the lingo, I've learned just a little bit. It's just common sense, really. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it's a little bit kind of long, but whatever. Some things are long. Uh, so now, we probably, I mean, it probably took about seven minutes or so. Um, anyways, we're going to sand this now. This is another <laughs> awesome investment in a tool to facilitate yeah. your kids' passions and interests. You could do it by hand. It's going to take probably 20 to 30 times longer. Right. <laughs> right. Maybe you have a neighbor that has these kind of tools that wouldn't mind you coming over and using them. And you could do something nice for them in exchange. You could bake them cookies or mow their lawn, watch their pet. <laughs>
right now. Again, because I have this sander, I can do this a lot quicker, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, ah. I'm about to use this sander now, and you could definitely use this one, but because I have this, this is a lot quicker for the, for the video. I'm gonna use this one. Was that like a belt sander? This is a belt sander with a horizontal disc on it too. And this is a palm sander. Huh? Yeah. That's called yeah, the palm yeah, sander. Yeah. Okay. I know. See, I'm yeah. learning. I'm learning the lingo. So I'm going to actually. Like I said, you could totally do. And this part I'm doing right now isn't necessary, but I'm gonna taper the edges a little bit so it kind of looks like there's a blade on it almost. Cool. And oops. Uh oh, and honestly, with pine, this is probably not the best idea. Why? Because well, it's we it would be weaker. But I'm doing something that's a little. I'm gonna harden the blade. You'll see. It's gonna be good. I sense a young presence. A youngling. Wait, all right. Come on in. When you guys gonna be over? Come on, we're almost done. Come on in, guys. Okay. My younglings. This is Orion and Ivy, my I little younglings. Oh, okay, we're sweetie. Recording. We're I'm almost done this video, and then I'll come over and help you. Okay. So this is very loud, and this is broken, so we have to plug it in every time the switch does nothing, so... Is... Yeah, we're ready. Okay. I'm Let me actually see. just gonna. Well, no, that was it, cool. didn't, it didn't work like I wanted it to. It, okay. It's actually it's gonna take way too long, so I'm gonna just round it out real quick with this router, because again, it's gonna take a lot longer to just videotape it. Okay. With this, you. Can, so you're gonna use a router. The what what Dem was trying to do wasn't working on the belt sander, so he's gonna use something called the router. And uh, again, you could definitely do this with the with the sander, but it's just gonna take longer. Okay. And for the sake of this video, I'd rather just do it quickly. Rounded out the yeah. edges. That was really cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this sander now on it and make it look a little smoother. What about the handle? The handle still looks kind yeah, of I, rough. Yeah, I'm actually, I'll do that right now. I'm gonna go over and, like I said, all these sanders and stuff you can do with this one. Okay. But it's just easier to do it on this one. Right. Like comfortable. Yeah, like, that's why I did it like that. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna use this a little bit on it now. Alright, so I've traced this out on a piece of wood, I cut it out, and I sanded it, and now it's pretty much done. Now, this point is really, I mean, it's, it's not actually sharp, but if I were to jab someone with this, it would, it could potentially break skin, so I'm gonna round that off a little bit, real, real quick. <laughs> That 
makes a big difference just there. So, okay. Now, um, the importance of sanding it is there's a much less chance it's gonna crack and break while you're and while you're you know using this. And also, um, it's a lot more comfortable to hold. Now. You could just be done right here, but I'm going to show you a couple more things you could do to make it a little bit nicer. And a little bit more. And a little bit more, uh, durable. Are we playing with fire, son? Yep. <laughs> nice. Devin is a master with fire. He fire twirls, he's a blacksmith, he has learned how to work with fire really safely. Ever since he was three years old, he has loved fire. So this is one more thing he is doing with fire. So when you char wood, it makes it a lot harder. Does it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so like if you were to make like a survival spear, like for fishing or something, you want to put it in the fire and harden it. Really? Okay. I never knew that. Yeah. Thing. So this will... It's called charring? I don't know what it's called. Fire hardening, I guess. Charring, fire hardening, whatever. Whatever. You just heat it up and make it brown. Well, I never knew that. You'd think that it would make it weaker. No. Because it kind of gets all the moisture out and condenses the wood more. Great. Sometimes it takes a little while. It looks really cool too. Yeah, it gives it like kind of a nice two-tone. So when you're done hardening the blade, it should look something like this. I did it to the handle too, but that's just for fun. That's and cool. I love the way it looks. Yeah. So, now, real quickly, just to give it uh, a waterproof, I mean, again, you don't have to do this, obviously, but just to give it a longer life, I'm going to wax it real quick. And we use this wax, Devin's using the wax that we use on all our toys, it's like a butcher block conditioner by Howard's Naturals, it's just mineral oil, it's really safe. And it's so edible, look at this. It says uh, great for bamboo, it's food grade, look. isn't it? Yeah, it's food grade, uh. Oh, does it taste good? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, it tastes so. It tastes exactly like chapstick. Really? So, yeah. Oh, I can use this chapstick. Yeah, probably. And I love the way that. I mean, one of the reasons we use this wood wax, this finish, is because it brings out the natural grains of the wood like really, really beautifully. And so, what Devin's doing is for preserving, but really as a finish. Yeah, it looks nice to too. To just make it look really cool. Uh, something I'd like to point out is um, when you're picking the wood, you, I mean, they probably don't even sell it, but on, like, if you look at these two pieces, so you can look at these two pieces, and this grain is going horizontally, and this is vertically. Now, if I were to take this, oh, and this is vertical, so if I were to take this, that's not going to do anything, but with this horizontal grain, Wow, it split it. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so that's good to know. So when you're picking a piece of wood, make sure the grain is vertical, not horizontal. Because if you get a horizontal grain, show the difference, like side by side. Okay, so this is what you don't want to get, is, is the grain going that way, because it'll split really easy. You want it going the long way. Okay, Devin, that's really important. I mean, really it's so important. weak, look. Wow, okay. And um, even this bigger one, like, okay. you can just break it, see? Right. Oh, wow. So. Okay, cool. All right, Devin, well, thank you so much. Let's see the finished product. Here's the finished sword. It came out awesome. Super. So thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Make Maga. It. Please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Die. Oh. So guys, uh, please give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Maga! So Orion William of Madison, New Hampshire, please accept this sword as my token of my appreciation. Okay. No! <laughs>